What's up guys? In this video, I'm going to show you how to use Future Restore to update to iOS 12.4 even after it's no longer being signed. Now we've done a tutorial video on this for the majority of devices, but in this video, we're specifically going to take a look at this process on an A12 device. So this is part two. Part one was saving blobs. Anyway, guys, if you guys want to update to iOS 12.4, if a jailbreak has come out after this video has been released, and if iOS 12.4 is no longer being signed, there is still hope for you yet. So sit back and relax. Today, we are going to update your devices to iOS 12.4. Well, let's go ahead and start this video out on the computer. We're gonna go ahead and need to download something. So while we're doing other stuff, this will be downloading in the background. First up, we're gonna go ahead and grab Future Restore for either Mac or Windows. So go ahead and download that. Secondly, if you guys have your devices connected or if you have your device's ECID handy, just go ahead and grab that. It's also located within iTunes. Next, we're gonna go up to TSS Saver and we're actually just going to go down to the very bottom. Again, this is if you use this site to save your blobs. Anyway, you can just enter your ECID right there and click Get Your Blobs. It's going to take you to this site where you can just download a zip folder and that's about all we need to do there for now. Third, we're gonna go ahead and download the IPSW file for iOS 12.4 for your specific device. Again, links to all of these sites are located in the article down below in this video's description. Now, I'm going to be using my iPhone XS Max. Again, iOS 12.4 is still being signed as of recording this video, but that won't matter. Again, this can be applicable if iOS 12.4 is no longer being signed, so as long as you saved your blobs correctly. Anyway, we're gonna go ahead and click download right here to download the IPSW file. Now, this is the only step I did in advance of recording this video. So if I go ahead and go to my download folder right here, I have my blobs, I have future restore, and I have iOS 12.4 for my specific device. Now, I'm gonna go ahead and create a new folder here on my desktop just called future restore or FR for short. Within this folder, this is totally, totally optional, but I just like to be organized. We're gonna go ahead and drag the IPSW file as well as future restore. And uh, let's go ahead and go into our blob folder. Again, we're restoring to iOS 12.4. Now, you guys are going to want to go to one of these that have AP nonce. If you guys have a folder that has no AP nonce, uh, do not use that. That folder is entirely useless. Those blobs are completely invalid. Now, if you guys have multiple folders right here that say AP nonce, um, it might be because you saved your blobs a couple times with different generators. Anyway, we're gonna go ahead and select this folder and I'll show you guys why. Now, this is going to be entirely different from you, but if you guys see, it says AP nonce dash this number right here. Well, where is this number from? This is actually from our AP nonce that we got when we actually generated our blobs. So I hope you guys saved this number right here. Mine is 7EE. So that is why I know this is the folder that we want. This is the blob that we want. And that's what we're going to actually paste into our future restore folder. So that's all on the desktop and we're all set up on the computer to do this restore. Let's go ahead and jump over here onto our device. Really all we need to do, there's two steps. One, you need to go into settings, into your iCloud settings, tap iCloud and go down to find my iPhone and you need to disable this. Otherwise the restore will fail. Now, secondly, we need to set our nonce or our generator. And in order to do that, we need to currently be in the non-jailbroken state. Again, we need to either use the Uncover or Chimera jailbreak utility to do this. For this tutorial, I'm going to use Chimera. We're gonna go down to here where it says set nonce. And again, just like the video before, you're going to set the same nonce that you used. For me, I just used the default one, which is zero times 16 ones. So after double and triple checking that that nonce is correct, we can go ahead and click set and again, click okay. 
and now we can actually enable the jailbreak. So once our jailbreak is enabled, our nonce has been set successfully. We really don't need to do anything else on the device aside from enter your passcode if you have one. Basically just get to the home screen. Now the rest of this tutorial video is pretty much going to happen on the computer. Just ensure your device is showing up within iTunes. I can already see iTunes is freaking out about it. So I know that my device has uh, connected successfully. So now on to the actual restore process. We're gonna go ahead and open up a terminal window and uh, let's go ahead and reorganize these windows right here so you guys can see this entire process just a little bit better. All right, there we go. So to start this restore off, we only have one command that we have to actually enter. And again, it'll be down below in this video's description. But here's what it looks like on screen. We're gonna start off by dragging future restore into the terminal window. We can type negative T space, drag our SHSH2 blob into the terminal window. We can type negative, negative, latest, negative, baseband, space, negative, negative, latest, negative, SEP, space. And then the very last thing, we're going to drag and drop the IPSW file for iOS 12.4 into the terminal window. And once that is all set correctly, all we have to do now is press return. So this is the moment you pray guys that everything works perfectly fine. Press enter and here we go. Now I'm not going to cut anything out of this video so you guys can see exactly what the entire restore process looks like. But once it has completed, I will be back to wrap things up. Anyway guys, wish me luck and I will see you momentarily. Yeah, 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 yeah. Coming in, yeah. Flex, I just wanna win, yeah. LA BB, who we running with, yeah. Two, two, three, three, I'm on 10 again, yeah. State your name, big, big dope on flame. I just switched the lanes. Damn, he did it again. I just flipped the pain. Stripping and dipping in bass, slab on everything. 
Swimming, you shaking away, cause I got big racks coming, I put my low racks on it. I ain't skip past losses, I had to get back off it. See the fit lab on it until they whip my coffin. Money clip, I tossed it, I heard it's big bags on big bags on big bags coming. Uh uh, coming in. Yeah, flex, I just wanna win. Yeah. LABB, who we running with? Yeah, 2233, I'm on 10 again. Pump up the action. Bitch, I'm active. If he never heard of Ben Dope, he just napping. Jackson's off the rapping. Keep it on my body, bitch. I'm broke if you ask it. Don't gotta sell him, most of y'all is broken. What's as long as it is foreign? Heard you wanna cause the game's enormous. What's an ass? Since she isn't gorgeous. Live my life, last name of Morgan Freeman. Trying to touch a forest. Do not know we're knocking on the door. It's came in, I came in, I came in. Did it like the Porsche's coming in. Yeah, flex. I just wanna win. Yeah. LA BB, who we running with? Yeah, 2233, I'm on 10 again. Okay, alright. Coming in. Yeah, flex. I just wanna win. Yeah, LA BB, who we running with? Yeah, 2233, I'm on 10, 10, 10. Yeah. And there we have it, the restore has successfully completed, guys. The iPhone will reboot and finish up the restore process. And once that's done, I will be right back. And there we have it, guys. The iPhone is back online. Now, since you sat through that entire restore, I'll go ahead and skip through these steps. And I'll show you guys finally at the very end that we are on iOS 12.4. Well, I guess this is going pretty quickly. I'll just go ahead and set this up super generically. And so uh, we'll just skip through a lot of stuff. So definitely set your iPhone up as a new iPhone. 
Um, I wouldn't restore from an iTunes backup just because sometimes the jailbreak success rate uh, is impacted by that for whatever reason. Anyway, guys, here's the final result. Welcome to iPhone. We're going to go to general about, and there we have it, guys. iOS 12.4. My God, my screen brightness is so bright, but there we have it, kind of. You can kind of see iOS 12.4. Apologies, it's super dark where I'm filming, so I have my exposure really high. Anyway, guys, iOS 12.4, the restore has completed. We've successfully done our A12 Future Restore. This is the first time I've ever used Future Restore on this device. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching today's video. If you guys enjoyed it, you know what to do. Definitely show that support. Definitely stay tuned for future content by us. But until next time, this is Tony signing out.